Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another custom content showcase for The Sims 4. So this is a follow-up to the one that I did recently where I showed off a bunch of clothes that I found for pets, and now I'm doing one for pet objects. So once again, I will link Lana CC finds in the video description below because that's how I found all of these things. It's definitely a really good resource to keep up with the latest cool custom content for the game. But yeah, we're going to just look through all the objects in the catalog and also show off a little bit of gameplay so you can see how some of these objects will work. So I'm not really going to show off this one that much, but this is basically supposed to be a food bowl with simlish names on it, but it seems like the latest game update has broken this because now that I go to place it down, it doesn't even have the simlish text on it and yeah, the description is for some reason in a different language. So I don't know. It's weird. It worked before, but yeah, for some reason it doesn't for the time being. Then there's a conversion of this holiday bowl from the Sims 3 store. Fortunately, there is only that one swatch for it. And actually, since I'm nearby, there's also this pet bed that's also a conversion from that Sims 3 store set. It's right here. So it has uh, energy one. And then we got another food bowl here by Nendo. It's actually a bit of a set here. And what I'm actually gonna do, there's like white and black, but I can actually move this inside for a second because with all the glare from the outdoor lighting, it doesn't quite do the, the white version justice. There you go. See, that's what it looks like when it's actually like placed inside. Looks uh, a little bit better there. And same with this bed that's part of the same set as white and black. We got white and black of these toys as well that are meant to go with it. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a very, very artistic modern. So you have like a really modern house in The Sims 4. This is really good for your pets. Then we have this cardboard box. So if you're playing as like a really poor household, or if you're pretending to play as a homeless pet, then uh, you can use this. Oh, okay, this is another one with just one swatch. Then we got a crate pet bed, which is one of my favorites. I actually really like this. It, it just has a really nice rustic feel to it, and I just really like rustic furniture in The Sims. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something, uh, something I really like. So it's definitely a nice thing to have if... Say you're accommodating the pre-made lots for pets, then you can just place maybe like a bed like that in the lodges and it'll match pretty well with it. Then we got this pet tent by Leo Sims. It's just funny, I was actually talking about Granite Falls because if you want to have like some outdoor campsites that can accommodate for pets, then this is ideal for, uh, for dogs or cats. This one I think is just for small pets, so it'll work with small dogs and cats, but I don't think big dogs fit into that one. But we do have some more dog houses, and I'm sure a lot of you will want these if you don't already have them. And most of these are actually conversions from The Sims 3. So you do have like this small simple pet house, there's like a bunch of different colors, I'll click on it here too, see, so whoa. Yeah, it's weird. Some of the color swatches are kind of broken, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of strange, but yeah, I don't know. But some of them do work like this one, so it's all good. Then we have this modern pet house over here. It comes in a few different colors. And yeah, actually, I was going to click on that one anyways. This, this one's not from The Sims 3. This is an original one, but it does come in a few different colors. And... If I remember correctly though, I think the pets enter this from the back. That's what I remember seeing when I was testing it. But when we get into the gameplay, I'll make sure to test out that one. And make sure I don't want to miss any of these. So there's, <laughs> there's these maple leaf print beds where some of them come in these patterns and some of them are just like plain. And there's one for small pets, one for um, the big dogs as well. So if you're Canadian, uh, <laughs> this might be an essential download for you. <laughs> Maple leaf pet beds. Heck yes. Canadian pets. 
But uh, then we got this really cute uh, polka dot bed. It comes in a whole bunch of different colors. I really like this one. And what's the next one here? Okay, I already showed the modern one. Oh yeah, that's another conversion from The Sims 3. We got like this really royal looking pet bed, super fancy. If you like your uh, Persian cats, I don't know. <laughs> Just reminds me of Persians for some reason. Then, okay, I showed off those ones. Oh yes, the kitty bag. That's a conversion from the pre-order bonus from The Sims 3 Pets. You may have actually seen this in my Cats and Dogs Let's Play because uh, Shelly's cat Theo has one of these. <laughs> it's pretty cute. It's one of my favorite objects from The Sims 3. And then we got another uh, tent pet bed. So another option to go with if you want to have pets camping with you in Grant Falls. Yeah, I really like the purple <laughs> leopard print one. And then we have this Ko Tatu, and that actually reminds me a lot of <laughs> Neko Atsume, if you've ever played that game on your phone. It's really nice. Fortunately, only... Uh, <laughs> For only I almost said small cats, but I was meaning to say small dogs. But small dogs and cats can use this, but yeah, large dogs cannot, unfortunately. But yeah, this is really nice. I love all the color swatches for this one. It's really neat. I haven't actually used this in my gameplay yet, so I'll have to test that one out as well. So we also have a holiday toy ball, so it's a good one for cats to play with. And I think there are, yeah, there's some different swatches, thankfully, for that one. Then there's also a candy cane that comes in two different colors. I think that, yeah, it's also a conversion from the Sims 3 store. And, oh, this is one of my favorites right here. This is an emoji ball for your pets to play with. And it comes in a bunch of different, uh, different emotions here. There's <laughs> even the angry one, the XD, and so many others. This is great. I'm kind of glad I did this objects one later because this one wouldn't have been in the video otherwise. I found this one pretty recently. <laughs> There's even the the crying laughter, the the happy one. Yeah, that was, I just placed two different examples there just to show that off. Then another thing I really like are these wooden objects of the obstacle course. I just placed them in some different colors just to show you that there are different color options because yeah, I, I really wasn't happy about how the ones that we get with the expansion don't really have... Actually, I think most of them don't even have swatches at all. I can't remember. Wait, hold on. Yeah, let's go to this one. Yeah, actually, this one, this one, this one. They don't have any different color swatches. So, yeah, I'm really glad we have these wooden ones so that we at least do have some more options. And... Uh, if I can find a picture, I'm going to put a picture on screen right now of Grand Falls where I placed these because they match Grand Falls perfectly and they actually make me kind of excited about going to that world again with my pets. But yeah, there's some different versions there. Yeah, I think they're, yeah, they're all like the same kinds of swatches, but just for the different objects. So yeah, it's it's really neat. I really like these, especially if you are trying to work these into a for a setting or just like a park, they're really good. I highly recommend these. And yeah, there are some for the for the hoops as well. The same wooden swatches. And okay, there's just a couple more to show off here and then we'll get into the gameplay. So there's the scratching post by Leo Sims. This one's really cute. There's some paw print ones as you can see there and there's like a little uh, ball hanging off the other side here. Whoops to do this. So there's some plain ones, some paw print ones. Really nice, really cute if you want to have a different uh, a different kind of alternative to the default one you get with the expansion. And then you have a scratching triangle. So that's completely different from the scratching post. So it's definitely a nice change. Unfortunately, there's only two color swatches. Would have liked more, but yeah, it's, it's still kind of neat anyways. Alright, so since I have the playable pets mod, I can actually make my pets use these. <laughs> Makes this video way easier. So, I have Cooper, maybe like, uh, just lie in there. 
and let's have let's have Gonzalez go in this one. So you can like see how they work animation wise. Oh, the <laughs> Volpez Fox is inspecting the oven, I guess. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, okay. It actually did go in the right way this time. That's weird. I could have sworn. Maybe it's just random. But, uh, oh, <laughs> that's cute. The Cooper's actually on top of it. But I'm pretty sure they can also. Um, what's. Well, they have the cone on their head. Cooper doesn't have a cone. That's really strange. Okay, let's cancel this one and then I think go under. Yeah, there we go. Even though there is some clipping issues with this object, it's still still kind of a neat object. So can you just sit down? There we go. <laughs> it's the lie down and go right through. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Uh, I was thinking about taking a picture with a nice second thoughts. Um, Okay, let's see, what else do we do? Oh yeah, we gotta show off the obstacle course. Oh yeah, I think the cargo box is only for small pets too. Or, oh, actually you can use this, but I don't know if it'll look good, that's the thing. Um, what? Oh, okay, yeah, the, the interaction just cancels. So let's, actually let's have Volpez uh, just sit in this one. Come on, stop chasing your tail. <laughs> stop chasing your tail and use the object. Oh, maybe it doesn't work with dogs. What? Okay, that's strange. What? Why isn't this one working? Maybe it's just that interaction. No? Hmm. Well, that's really strange. I don't know why that one's not working. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I, mean, I guess some of these objects might have to be updated or something. I don't know. Why are you doing that now? No, you're lazing by, <laughs> lazing by a table. Okay, don't think you're gonna do it though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. But let's show off the obstacle course here. Let's run obstacle course with Gonzalez. Oh, I got some pet obsessed. <laughs> Pet obsessions. Jeez, I can't talk today. Okay. Alright, yep, and they work just like the normal objects, except they just have a different appearance. Alright, and then what else can we try out here? Let's try out the holiday pet bed. Hopefully, that will at least work. Uh oh. Oh no, I think Volpez is broken. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. That's really weird. The attraction just seems to be permanently stuck on there. But thankfully, this holiday one works. Wow, this <laughs> looks like it's too big. Or not too big, too small for this big pet pet. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's have Cooper use the scratching post and the triangle as well. Let's see how both of them work. <laughs> just both, both fighting to use this object. They just really like the wooden obstacle course. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Scratch, 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 scratch. And then use the triangle. See how this looks. Oh, okay. It's not perfect, but it still looks pretty good, I think. Alright. Maybe just... Zoom this out a little bit more. There we go. Oh, okay. It actually does clip through a little bit. <laughs> stretch. Kitty stretch. Okay. But yeah, mostly works. Alright, let's have Volpez maybe play with one of these. <laughs> Wine with a ball. <laughs> What's that? Oh, he's gonna like go up to Nikki. Okay. <laughs> It's like, Nikki, please, get a Christmas tree! <laughs> or, what? Hold on. Wait, where's Nikki? Oh, you're up there. With garbage! Just taking out the garbage, okay. Alright, is are you gonna do that now? Or, you're not, okay, you're not going to do it. Place it down. 
Wine with ball, come on. I want to see this. No, Vicky, what are you doing? Oh, okay, you, you're eating stuff. Hmm. Yeah, maybe these interactions are meant to be like autonomous sort of things. That's probably why it's not working. It's like, who's a good dog? Alright, let's see. I think you pretty much get the point. Like, they don't really add new functions from any of them, but they are different versions of existing objects. Uh, yeah, I think even the dog houses, they're basically the same as pet beds, but they're made to look like dog houses. Oh, I forgot there was <laughs> a trash plant in this house. Like, for a while, I forgot they were even in the game, but now they're starting to appear around again. And I think it might be because of pets throwing up and stuff, and then me not seeing that, because I'm, like, playing as another household, and then, yeah, they just, uh... <laughs> so they're just left there, and they turn to trash plants, if that's what I'm guessing. But, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this custom content showcase. So your mileage may vary with some of these. Oh, actually, even the cats can use these. But yeah, I will leave the link in the video description below to uh, Lana's CC finds. Oh, I think there you actually did enter from this side. But yeah, that way, uh, through that website, you can easily find all this stuff. It might take some scrolling through pages to find the specific one. But yeah, it's too bad this cardboard box one doesn't seem to work. It's really odd. But yeah, be sure to leave a like or comment or even subscribe because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content from me. I do videos on The Sims, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more. So I'll talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's like, huh? Is anybody, is anybody looking at me? Can I sleep? <laughs>